that people I should know. I'll just say, can I have a picture with you? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the picture and I'll send it to me or to send it to Nonso. Who is this gentleman? <laughs> and then we send me the profile of the gentleman. Oh, now I know. Now we must have it. All our um, subsidiary companies, all our portfolio companies must meet with the directors of the group. We should know our shareholders, we should know our directors, because we have one thing in common to make the group work. Distinguished colleagues, I'm happy again to welcome you to this combined induction program, which I think will be beneficial to all of us. Thank you very much. So we've been putting this together for some time and I'm glad that finally we're here today. But not only are we here today to set up this inaugural induction for all board members, we actually went one step further by creating a directorate that oversees governance. That's how much governance is important to us. DFD Microfinance Bank and I have the greatest pleasure to introduce our chairman Alaji Haruno Nahatu, thanks for coming, sir. We appreciate it. Austin Apolusoro is one of the tech giants in this country. Uh, he is responsible for uh, the rollout of Leo, the WhatsApp bank of UBA, which is one of the most exciting things that have come out of digital Nigeria. Uh, he's one of the best tech heads in the country, he's won many awards in Silicon Valley. Uh, we're very excited to have you on board as a shareholder and thank you very much for all your contribution. Appreciate it. Good governance, corporate world governance is actually achieved both at the group level and across all the businesses that we invest in. Um, governance is one of those things that's not really, doesn't come naturally to us in Nigeria and a lot of companies, but it's been the bedrock of how we started and I think it's actually one of the things that attracts people to us and we believe as a Nigerian company, it's one of those things that's going to ensure that we actually grow and become a more international company. I know my balance sits on a commercial bank, but right now, your balance sits with me. Okay, VMD Microfinance Bank is the most capitalized unit microfinance bank. A round of applause. This is the microfinance bank with the best governance, we have the best brains in the industry, in the different fields, having conversation about how to develop this microfinance bank. Whatever you've seen on the bank, it's not rocket science, it's not magic, it's dedicated effort. I think we're the doctor you need to see actually, for your housing. We can partner with you to find a solution to sort out your real estate transactions. If you're building, if you're constructing, you have to put out an estate or a personal, personal home. So we are licensed by the Securities and Exchange Commission to provide portfolios slash fund management um, services. We cater to a broad range of clientele. So the end goal is to have Nigerian fashion designers selling in the Wall Street, London, New York, Paris, Spain, and everywhere you can take of fashion. Because we know we have the creativity in Nigeria. It's just ability for us to tap into that second and make it work. Luxury is going to come from Africa. We are the one that does luxury because we sew for our body type and we sew to fit. What you see in the market that you buy in the US is mass produced, but what we wear here is basically produced for you and you in mind. So we are crafting for our people in mind, but for the global market. Yes. From our name, we are a leasing company. So we provide services to various organizations. Presently, we do for major things. We do operating lease. We also do finance lease. So for those of us that want to buy vehicles, instead of going to Subi to fund you, you can come to us. <laughs> are there any future, are there any or in the immediate plans to gear towards impact investing for the company as, as an investment company? Our mandate is to, through CSR, uh, create sustainable initiatives, which we did many of last year. Uh, I remember you accompanied us to Buka to go and open the uh, hall that we built at the school. We also had events at uh, Oluwogowo Primary School, which is a neighboring school in Well. Have you, as a, as a group, considered working with 
possible private equity funds in your international expansion so that if you're going to Germany, if you have a relationship with a fund, you can do that so that you don't have to go there and introduce yourself, you just come as a partner. So we started a unit within a VFD group called Institutional Business last year and I also oversee that unit. So what she did immediately was to start uh, establishing our footprints and presence in the uh, African private equity community. So she registered us on uh, AFCA, which is the African Venture Capital and Private Equity Association. So they have a yearly conference. We went to the one in Kenya last year and we made significant relationships. We established a lot of inroads into um, those relationships. I want to say thank you very much for taking our time to honor us and uh, be present in this event. <laughs> so thank you very much. I enjoyed the evening. I particularly like this because uh, we see a lot of faces, we hear a lot of names, but it's good to put flesh to the names, yeah? So please, let's interact, let's get to know each other better and enjoy your evening. Thank you very much. <laughs>